Hi, it's Debbie Williams here and today I'm going to do a very short trance that hopefully will help rebalance back to a state of calmness and in flow and feeling more at peace. There's a lot of fear going around at the moment and I feel inspired to do this to help you to sort of release a lot of the fear and to start to think more clearly and with hope in your heart. And before I start, what I'd like to do is give you a little gift of, if you hold your hands out here and imagine as you close your eyes, a time when you felt really, really compassionate. Maybe helping an animal that was injured or a child or a time where your heart went out to somebody. And as you remember that now, all over again, just seeing through those eyes, hearing through those ears, and feeling those feelings of that pure love and compassion that you're giving out from yourself. And let it form a shape in your hands, like an energy ball or a big heart or whatever feels right for you. And maybe just noticing that you can feel a little tingling in your hands as you let this compassion build in those hands. And now what I want you to do is to bring those hands into your own heart and let it fill up on the inside to give you that love and compassion from humanity as we all are humans. The love that you freely gave to another, allow it to fill you deeply on the inside through every fiber of your being. And now just open your eyes for a second. And in these hands, Oh, yeah, let's get some energy flowing. Let's press the palm there, press the palm there and get the energy flowing. And I want to do another little experiment. I want you to put in this hand all the fear and I want you to say it five times. Fear, 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 fear. And on this hand, I want you to put love. Love, 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 love love and with your eyes closed notice how the fear it feels heavier doesn't it and how the love feels expansive and now just open your eyes bring them together and rub them like that and then just close your eyes and notice how love has dispersed the fear and as you close your eyes again, I want you to breathe deeply. And each inspiration, imagine breathing in the light of love and goodness. And each exhalation, you're letting go of any darkness or fear. You're releasing it. And as you breathe deeply, imagine if you would filling a balloon in your tummy. Because when you breathe deeply like that, it stimulates part of the parasympathetic nervous system, the vagus nerve, and it helps switch on the relaxation response. And as you continue breathing deeply, filling up the balloon in your tummy, holding for a few moments, and then releasing. And as you continue to breathe, no, that the heart has a pump and the lymph system doesn't. It is powered by deep diaphragmatic breathing. They put cameras inside people's bodies and they found that it stimulates the lymph system, which is part of the body's immune system. And as you learn to breathe deeply, whether it's through meditation, yoga, hypnosis, all of those and exercise, you know that you're supporting your body's own immune system. You're supporting your lungs to allow them to become stronger and more healthier. And you're allowing on the exhalation to expel 
and to help support that limp system. To change dis-ease into more of an ease, where you feel more at ease. And to be open, if you would, to whatever faith you have, to a higher power, intelligence, whatever it is that's brought us here, to Mother Nature, Father Time, to be open to be a channel, to be guided by all that is good in our world, to be guided that now in this time of uncertainty, it's the time to take back our power. It's the time to heal our planet, to heal our oceans, to heal ourselves, to be open in the days ahead, to find our true purpose. And it'll come through the still, full, quiet voice of intuition, of knowing that there is a lot of good in this world. And perhaps researching different kinds of breathing that can help you. There's a guy, Wim Hof, who's made a certain kind of breathing popular. Look him up. And it comes from Tumo. The guys at the Himalayas, they knew how to breathe in a way to heal. He was injected with an endotoxin and through his breathing, he only had a mild headache where the test subjects became quite ill. And there has never been a more important time to take back our own strength and to learn from others what we can do to help ourselves. And as you learn to breathe deeply more often, you can calm things down. And the space between my words can allow you to drop deeper into the essence your true humanity, the love that is within you, the kindness. And I want you to imagine, like we did in the beginning, when we put that compassion in our hands, where you imagined giving love and compassion to somebody who needed it. And just see that compassion in your hands now growing as an energy as a light force, as you channel through your head all of your beliefs from the higher source of goodness, the light of the universe, the wonder of nature. And I want you to send it out, that love to our planet, to help heal our world, where we can imagine the oceans are getting cleaned up where species are coming back to life where we thought they'd gone, where humanity is more in alignment of Mother Earth. The Dalai Lama said, the world will be saved by Western women. And I think he has a point because as women, as mothers, as guardians, we think further, we think more with our intuition, the teachers within, of what is needed to heal, not just ourselves, but our world. And to send light even into those dark places, even into the things that you're angry about. Send the light, the love, so that they too can wake up and change their ways, so that their lies can be exposed and the truth comes out and that we can use this time to truly change our world for the better and to see in your imagination a world that's full of laughter, that's full of light, that's full of kindness, that's full of joy, that's full of understanding that we can empower ourselves. When we meditate, we connect to a higher source that we may never be able to understand or explain. But now is the time to allow yourself to be filled with that energy, that love, and from my heart to yours, 
on all of those that are waking up to, now is the time to heal ourselves. I wish you well, and in the days ahead, to feel stronger and to be drawn to listen to this any time you feel a bit fearful. Recognise it's false evidence that appears as real. And as you bring yourself back to your centre, you can think clearly and to find your purpose and the actions that you need to take to support all that is good and all that needs to be done to heal. And thank you for listening. And you can begin to reorientate yourself back into the room or you can stay here and continue your meditation for all the time that you need to.